Hey girlfriends, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, I'm finally going to give my opinion on the Living Proof Curl Line. I would say this is new, but it's not exactly new. I'm just really late to actually getting around to using it. But you know, better late than never. Today I'm gonna to be using the Living Proof Curl Shampoo the curl conditioner as well as their curl definer and curl defining gel there are other products in this line like a curl elongator which you know sounds really cool there is an oil uh what else is there and a curl enhancer so when you have a brand or a product line of words like curl enhancer curl definer you're like what are those are you a leave-in conditioner are you a cream styler so I mean, I know brands like to get creative with their names, but I also just need you to tell me like what it is, just like straight up. I'm not gonna try all the products today because I frankly don't want to, and I think I've tried them at least once before and I wasn't like blown away, but I'm gonna try what worked best for me after a little bit of experimentation. So, let's start off in the shower. Starting off on very dirty hair, yes, it is definitely wash day. I'm gonna be using the Living Proof Curl Shampoo for waves, curls, and coils. This is a sulfate-free shampoo, and it does smell really good. It smells like grapefruit, so if you don't like grapefruit, you're probably not gonna like it. It's supposed to be a creamy, rich, low lather shampoo that will gently cleanse without stripping your hair. It also claims to provide a superior slip for weightless detangling, leaving your hair stronger and more defined. I did not notice any slip in this shampoo, but after I rinsed it out, I do think that my hair felt clean. Um, you know, just kind of whatever. Definitely didn't feel moisturized after, but just clean. Then I'm going to grab the Living Proof Curl Conditioner for waves, curls, and coils. Also sulfate and silicone free. These are 12 ounce bottles. They both smell the same, that same like grapefruit scent. This conditioner is supposed to moisturize and detangle my hair without leaving any heavy residue. It was not heavy, but I wasn't exactly blown away by the slip either. It felt decent like putting it on my hair, but it wasn't extremely creamy, rich, or moisturizing. It was kind of just doing, you know, the bare minimum, I guess. I don't know, doesn't make me like super excited to keep using it. Alrighty, you're getting me fresh out the shower, no makeup, because I'm gonna see Mary Scott's skincare today. So I can't be walking in with makeup on, but let's try some new products. I'm gonna be using the Living Proof Curl Definer which is like a conditioning styler. Hmm, does that mean you're more of a leave-in or a cream? It's a styler, so I think it's a cream styler. And then on top, I'm gonna add the Living Proof Curl Defining Gel for waves, curls, and coils. Basically because I think I've tried these two before and this was my favorite matchup between all their stylers and their collection. And I also can't find anything else, so that's what we're gonna use. Starting off on damp hair, let's do one, two pumps. Has the same grapefruit smell as the shampoo and conditioner. Very creamy consistency. Let's see how this does. It's very lightweight serum type texture more than the thick cream. So hopefully this will be good for fine or thin hair because it's not too heavy. I do like the smell, but if you're sensitive to smells, I could see this probably bugging you because it's a little strong. And two more pumps, maybe three on this side. Hmm, I don't know. I'm not really getting moisture vibes from these products or slip. Sometimes I don't like how a product feels as I'm putting it in, but then it surprises me. Next up. The gel, a lightweight gel that provides long lasting hold, we'll see about that, without the crunch or weight. It adds humidity resistant control, that's good, and definition for frizz free styles on all curl types. Hmm, yeah, same smell. Here is the consistency. It's actually a pretty thick type gel. All right, and I'm going to smooth and scrunch. A little bit more, just, just cause, just for 
found the ends. I'm all styled up. I'm gonna let it air dry as I go to my appointment today. And then I'll come back and show you how it air dried and we'll kind of do some more styling. Be right back. And I'm back. That is how I got to this part right here. Now my hair is completely dry. I just let it air dry today. I didn't diffuse at all. And this is how it looks. So as you can see, I have a little bit of frizz. But that is kind of because when I was at my appointment, I had to put all my hair up in a way so that Mary Scott can, you know, do my facial. But what do we think? It's very soft. I don't really have any hold anymore. The scent is gone, so the scent isn't going to bug you. But let me just kind of like, let's fluff it out a little bit. This is kind of what I would expect from a cream styler on day one. I don't know, like it still looks, you know, pretty. There's a little bit of frizz there. The actual definition of my curls, I wouldn't say they're very defined. Let's see how much these products cost because these products were sent to me. But if I go to the Living Proof website, These products are expensive! The shampoo and the conditioner are $32 each. That's more than Curlsmith, and y'all already give me mess for liking Curlsmith, and this is even more than that, so I don't know what to say. Y'all are not gonna like this. $32 for the shampoo, $32 for the conditioner, $34 for this five fluid ounce, no, that can't be right. For the five ounce bottle? Okay, well, still. The defining gel is $28 for the five ounces, and the curl definer is $34. I really think Curlsmith is like $25. The elongator is $38. I don't know, here's my thing. If I'm gonna be spending that much, or if I'm gonna be even recommending to you guys to spend that much on a product, I need the ingredients to be like out of this world. So as you guys know, I love products from Curlsmith, but they have very rich natural ingredients. Even brands like Ceremonia, like their bottles are pretty small, but they're very natural ingredients. So it's kind of like when you go to Whole Foods, you pay more for like the good stuff. <sighs> These products are sulfate and silicone free, but I don't see any ingredients that are really blowing me away. Like I see shea butter, Grapeseed. Let me let me read this little book. <laughs> On a positive note, there's my friend. There's Leticia, the owner of Tress Hats, those satin line leather hats that I like. Yep, that's her. Doing big things. This is the best part of the collection is Leticia, to be honest. So in this whole little booklet that they sent me, I don't see a lot about like the ingredients in it. So that just makes me be like, why are you so expensive? There's been a lot of mixed reviews about these products. Some people love them, like certain ones, but I feel like I've heard more about like, eh, they're all right, or they like hated them. At this point in my like YouTube career, after reviewing products every single week basically, it's gonna be a little bit harder to impress me. Like, what's gonna really make me choose your product over everything else that's on my shelf? And when people ask me, what products do you recommend? I do have my go-to products that I think of in my mind, and I can't say that I would add these Living Proof Curl products to my arsenal of products in my head when it comes to just like, I recommend that. So I mean, if you got like a coupon, I think it's worth a try. If you've tried this before, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below, but I think they're just, decent. But I hope you found this video helpful in some way. If you enjoy my curly hair product reviews, just my videos in general, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I do want to go back to trying more drugstore products. I'm probably going to do a drugstore product haul soon. So make sure you are subscribed and hit that little bell so you're notified as soon as I get a new video so you don't miss any more of my videos. And you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more consistent content daily at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.